guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are here back on Roblox, and we are going to be going back to our, um, well, my favorite game on here. Maybe not favorite, but probably most played. It is called Pilot Training Flight Simulator, commonly abbreviated as PTFS. It is, uh, probably the most realistic flight simulator on Roblox. Um, if you like flight simulators, we also do um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, so if, if you want to do that, uh, just subscribe to the channel and go look at my videos. We should have a section for our videos. Um, and just uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Let's get. I uh, skip this. Wait. Okay. We are here in the very menu of our game. Um, I'm going to get rid of this menu up here just for you guys. Let's go here to settings. And what? Oh, there you go. And resume. The reason I had the letters on there is because I have a uh, Xbox controller connected. But anyway, we are going to start on HMS Queen Elizabeth as our starting airport. And I, we're going to uh, go to Greater Rockford. And, and let, yeah, right right over there. Oh, and if you guys like my skin, it's pretty cool. We probably spent like, I don't know, like 5 ten dollars on this. We have a, uh, what well, looks like an M4 in the back. It's a, uh, and some weird, uh, flag. <laughs> eh, tactical vest, I think. But. And here in the game, you see, we have our run tool, which if you click on that and then start running, nothing's happening. That's why you have to click on your mouse, you start speed running. And if you go to your binoculars, obviously, they're, they're binoculars. You just click on them. I mean, I, it's kind of self-explanatory. And then here we have the marshal. We have, like, the all clear. We have stop. Yeah, your arms detach from your body. Yeah, face me. Stop engines. Carrier launch. <laughs> Hold. Turn left. Start engines. Turn right. Then we have a parachute. Can't really use it on the ground because it's a parachute. Okay, let's go over here to a plane spawn and get our plane. We are not actually going to be using a helicopter right now. Let's go down. All. A10, A6, A6, A6. I'm going to get that 22 Game Pass because it's probably like one of my favorite planes. It's a P38 Lightning. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the T Hawk T1 because you can click on the red arrows and do some cool smoke with it. See, this is what I mean by realistic. It's pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in here, have our controls right here. Go ahead and turn the engine on. Taxi over here to the runway. Taxi way. Taxi on the taxi. It's just very confusing. I mean. You want to stop and turn. Now we are going to take off right down the room right here. All right, nice landing. Now I'm going to go in cockpit view and turn on advanced controls here. Let's do a little loopy loo. And also, I can go, I can start doing smoke. Press T, I can change colors. Keep spamming it. 
it's red, white, and blue. Okay, we are going. I'm gonna stay on blue, red, blue, blue, and we are going to approach GR over here. I'm, I'm turning off advanced controls right now because it's normal flight. But during an air show, I will use that. We will actually do like an air show later. And let's get our gear and our flags and slow down a bit. And go over here, turn. <laughs> Wanna climb around this mountain here? Just get close just for the fun. Alright, just come up here, turn here in this valley kind of area. Oh my gosh. And I'll come over a little bit more actually, because uh, to get lined up with the runway. Here we have a valley. I think this should be lined up right here. Yeah. So we're gonna go up over this. And that was close. And we're going to do the right runway. And uh, so we'll do left. See, they have bigger planes, just not on the aircraft here, which is kind of sad. Because if you want to take them off from an aircraft carrier, you have to just turn smoke off for a second. And there, and try to reverse thrusts. I think there's a break, but I'm stupid. Just gonna do a quick little takeoff right here on the taxiway so I can show you guys what the parachute how cool the parachute is. Oh, and also, we also do full night videos, um, not very many of them though. So, here we're gonna get up here, go max speed, get rid of flax, pull gear up just to get straight up. All right, now we are going to fly over here, jump, and hit number four. Now we have our parachute. I want to spawn over here at this terminal. <sighs> Splat. No, wait, oh, what? Where did so, uh, we are going to take off, okay, we are going to take off at Tokyo International Airport, because this is a new airport, I think, I I, I'm, I guarantee this is a new airport, I think, have like an update, I think this might be a replica of the actual Tokyo airport, definitely, probably not, not as much on the inside, but more of probably like the uh, runway, I don't know. I, I know some international airports have like 30,000 runways. Oh, you can see in here somebody's doing uh, ATC at G, GR Greater, Greater Rockford. Let's get the run tool going. Uh, oh, downstairs. Yeah. Whee! Whee! Okay, let's go up. I'm going to go up here to the actual terminal. Hard to run inside of the building. So we have a 737 out there, I guess. Uh, what it looks like to me. Uh, is this a door? No. Okay. Here we have a terminal. It's actually, terminals are nice designed. It actually even has like a height. Uh, yeah, and here they have the nose lines to park your plane. Like this is where the nose gear should be at for all of them. Concord, <laughs> yeah, it's all the way back here. 
click here to spawn a plane. Uh, so we are going to obviously. Why is it? Why is my mouse working? Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I had to uh quit my game, get back on. So. Uh, for some reason my mouse wasn't moving. So. Uh, I left on. Okay. So we are going to get some airliners. And as you can see, we have lots of airliners currently in their generic form, which is not that big of a problem. Um, I would think it's really cool if they split them out like Boeing and then Airbus and then other, because like, yeah, the Bombardier, Concorde, um, Douglas. Bom I still have problems saying Bombardier. I don't know why. Bombardier. Bombardier. I think so. Uh, but we're not, I don't, th we're going, actually not going to be flying Boeing today. Actually, we're going to fly Boeing 737, just because I like their self, yes. So once you click on your plane, you have all your cool generic, not generic, your uh, liveries here. You have Air Baltic, Air Canada, American Airlines, British, Delta, Jet 2, KLM, Korean Air, LOT, Qantas, Ryanair, Scandinavian Airlines, Southwest, TUI, Turkish Airlines, United Airlines, and then the, just the generic. Like, sometimes people just want to play generic. But I like the Southwest colors. So I don't know why, but it's not pulled up all the way to the gate, which is one thing that kind of confuzzles me. And you can see here, it's a very nice model of the plane. Not very nice. But it's, an, it's nice for Roblox. I mean, it has, like, the right paint. It has a little flashy light. But, I mean, it's not actually showing. It has the fins and everything. It has the nice wheels. And, like, it has, like, the little, the little uh, things under the wing. Flashes at the end of the wing. Uh... They have the engines very close to the ground. Okay, let's go to 737 is. It's even warped. It's like even in a warped circle. It has a little spiral in there. Uh, has like the geared out flaps. And, it, and here's one that, that actually makes me real happy. You can see it has the uh, Boeing angled uh, uh, cockpit window windshield get in here as a passenger um i feel like this is more of like a lag reducing thing they did not fill the whole they did not fill the whole plane with seats which i mean i think it looked cool if it did but i mean it kind of makes sense because like some people would do fly people in here but another thing i say uh it'd be nice if they added an overhead bin the, um update where it added that into it but if we just keep going here as a pilot we have like a nice cat cockpit so we are going to get out here turn the engines on back up taxi up oh looks like we have a b17 b26 b17 right Okay, we are going to take off on the runway that's out in the water. Oh, would you go? Would you mind going a little bit faster than five knots? Okay, I'm I'm tired of backing up, so we are going to back up the wrong way and start going for ta taxi the wrong way. Um, we'll go slow. Till we're here, you start taxing a little bit faster. That's just actually how they do it in the real world. You'll, you'll taxi slow, and then you'll get out to like the long strip, and you can taxi a little bit faster. You don't want to go too fast then, because uh, it will start preparing to take off, which is not good, because you're still in the taxiway. And these kind of things are serious in real life. Slow down a little bit. Sonic boom. If you ever hear me say random words, I'm I'm like looking at chat or talking about statistics or something. Is that another plane out there? That's another 
No, no, those are the next one. <laughs> I wish my, I wish like the game, like had like 4K graphics, but cause, but like thing isn't 4K. It's just. I, mean, I, I just wish it had a little bit better graphics in it. Like, the graphics are good. It's just, like, the lines. Like, you can see them, like, glitching over there. Just, oh, I didn't mean to speed up. And I'm dead. Oh, how did I not die? Oh, okay. Never happened. Because I accidentally started speeding up instead of slowing down. Okay, let's turn. Okay, I don't think there is an ATC right here. Yeah, there's not an ATC. So I think that guy wants to come over here too. So we should probably leave. So here we are going to prepare to take off. I'm not going to do cockpit view just so it can look a little bit cooler. Now they definitely updated the map. Add a new airport system stuff. <laughs> okay, here now we're going to go in cockpit view. Pull our gear up. I was in this direction. Zoom out a little bit. So you can see, it's pretty nice. It even has the little lines. Exhaust lines, uh, vortices. I can't remember what they're called. Okay, I need to turn and go. Is this? Uh, there's Perth. The sneak part thing. Greater Rock Forge all the way over there. And I just want to let you know that little line is not Greater Rock Ford. That is still part of the Japan Island. I want to know what's all the way down there by the magnifying glass. You guys can't see it. On the mini map down the bottom right, a little magnifying glass. There's a teeny tiny island down there. I don't I don't think that's an aircraft carrier. Look, it's definitely way too big to be an aircraft carrier on the map. What do I do? Oh yeah, somehow, if you do altitude hold, it'll hold you at this altitude, but then, if you do, uh, cruise mode, cruise mode, you literally will not move. Okay, if we are moving. Okay. All right, let's get to the landing. Okay, quick announcement. I changed directions to Perth. Just so you know. Okay, so. Alright. To the landing.
Okay, here we are in our landing. We're going to do something that you definitely do not want to be in. Uh, down here. I don't. Yeah, I think this is Perth. Mm -hmm. Whatever, we're landing here. <laughs> yes, we are going to nosedive here. Flatten back out here. Slow, slow, slow it. <gasps> oh, that what you guys do not want to be on this plane. Uh, okay, I gotta do advanced control and then activate rudder. Okay, we're gonna land right there. Yeah, the Baron over there. Better not be stealing my runway. Actually, it's probably his runway. But I don't care. We're actually going to go ahead and play reverse thrust right now. Because we seem to be going a bit fast. Oh, that was actually a nice turnaround. <sighs> We're actually going to try and butter it. Oh, it says landings. Oh, I already touched down. Dang it. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, so, just uh, have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because if you do subscribe, I can make more of these videos, cause then I get depressed and I won't make them. So, uh, what I need you guys to do is I need you to go down there, hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, you guys know what the subscribe button is, right? It's the red button that says subscribe. Yeah, why don't you go to the other test it out? Go, uh, go touch the subscribe button. See, see if it subscribes you. Uh, don't worry, I know it says subscribe, but it's not a subscription that you have to pay for. So, just like and subscribe. See you next time.